my life has turned into some horrible dream that started with a name and made me cut so deep. A face that could belong to a fragile doll. A voice sweet enough to make the angels crawl. Don't you see? Righto guys, so OVD had a concern about the previous episode. What could he possibly have to be concerned about? The ending. Wait, he got that far? Apparently so. Hmm. Anyway, he's concerned about you and Selena burning down a house with several people inside of it. I see. Because you're not supposed to kill the actors. He knows that it was just poorly done special effects, right? Well, he wanted you to say so on the show. Really? It's not like our viewers are complete idiots. That fire didn't even look real to Tokiomi, and he's one of the designated audience members. Right, well, just as long as the actors who played Ezra and Egg Neil get to come back as Melfina and Torin in Zero. You'll have to talk to them about that. I couldn't give less of a damn. And also, Mira Jane, Mavis, and, uh... Flair? Yeah, that bloke. They've got, like, lies and stuff, and supposedly it would be bad if... I'm going to stop you right there. Firstly, you're terrible at moralizing because you give less of a crap than I do. That's true. Secondly, they're actors, which means they've got contract with the production team, which means it's against my contract to start randomly offing them. Thirdly, you'd think if Serlena and I had actually set the house on fire, those people would have done whatever they could to try to leave. It was a fake fire. No one got hurt. Also, if it had been a real fire, the entire house would have just exploded because of that arrow I shot, and we would all be dead. By the way, I can't believe the show is actually holding a pre-episode special on how you didn't kill people. That's truly pathetic, especially directly after an episode slamming Ezra for moralizing against death wishes. Yeah, well, I've got to cover my ass. You know how it is. This could be our last goodbye, our last goodbye, she never told me why. This could be our last goodbye, oh why won't we meet again? We watched her breathing through the night, through the night, with a candle burning bright. She couldn't get to sleep that night, she won't have that problem anymore. My bathroom looks like a crime scene now, blood on the floor and the walls in the loo. Let's hope they never find her body or I'll be a dead woman too. My name is of no importance. Oh my god, what happened to your voice? She's got a cold, just roll with it. I'm a friend of Lee's. And? Well, you're his master, right? There is that possibility, miss. Though. I have yet to fully claim him. He's like, a tough one. I know, but that is what makes them fun to break. Wow, if he has you, does he really need the other one? Nonsense that doesn't affect us. No, but I need her. She is important to my plans. Nonsense plans that don't affect us. Most likely. Oh, like, I'm sorry, I meant 
like the boy. Which boy? The fluffy one, Goldilocks! Uh he would be a spare. Why need him for something? Kill the spare! Biblically? So? Never mind. Just to play. I'm so bored lately since my girlfriend left. She went off somewhere! Then... You... May have him. Doesn't you Saji himself have any say in this? I oh, don't be silly. Thank you. Um, like... Yeah. Orion. Orion and Zero. I thought his last name was Srivaka. Mr. Enzeru, I... I wish I could help with your sister. I have a sister who gets on my nerves, too. And... How does that make you feel? I feel pretty... Oh, so pretty... I feel pretty and witty and gay and I pity any girl who isn't me today. La 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 la. I feel stabby, oh so stabby. I feel crabby and stabby today. And I pity any fool who dares get in my way. La 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 la. Yes, but I have a good use for her. You may even use her as you wish. <laughs> Not wise. I caused, well, like a bit of a sensation the other night. I'm a bad girl. So that was you then. Interesting. Oh, you heard? Oh! Do tell me what you heard. I love causing a sensation. Especially when others know about it. Oh yeah! I heard. My sister got rather ruffled about it since she was draining him of his power. Like, did she tell you what I did to him? RAPE! No. But I could guess. No, seriously! I meant my ears! Her voice is raping my ears! Oh, please do! It would be delightful. SAYS YOU! Something about a memory. That's all? I'm disappointed. Why? Was there more, my sweet? I wiped his memories of the last year to the day. Now that is something to be proud of. Thank you! So why have you come to me? Unfortunately, that damn rodent, excuse me, he forced his own perspective into Olivarius's brain, which led to restoring his memories completely, like, totally, ugh. That's so- Have you forgotten what show we're on? Have you forgotten our tagline? Jeff, row the tagline. Damn. I know, it's so... rude. 
So's your face. Yes, but that is life, my dear. Now, why did you come? You seem to have some control of him. Who? Elavrius, my girlfriend's would-be boyfriend. She's almost obsessive over him. And you're okay with that? I might have some power over him right now. Right now? Possibly. I have a spell on him now. I put a spell on you. Because you're mine. Oh, please tell me. Spells are so much fun. Um, to make him think he has feelings for my sister. He thinks he loves her. But in truth? Like, in truth? They are fake, and will wear off, leaving them both shocked. Hold up. This was debunked like five times over the course of Lucky, the episode that wouldn't end. What the fuck, Onion? Pay attention. Both? Like, does she, I mean, did you do the same to her? How fun! Yes, I must say, it is quite fun. Ding dong! Hold on, my girlfriend wants to talk to you if it's okay. I guess. Hey, sexies. Hello, my dear. You put the whammy on Akuma too? Impressive. I said no such thing. Once again, pay the fuck attention, Onion. Sorry, that was presumptuous of me. But if you had, that would be impressive. After all, one needs to have feelings for the other, with a spell to work. My sister's feelings for him are real. I'm still impressed. It's very old magic. I know. They're illegal in Celestia, unfortunately. So, tell me, ladies. Is there a reason why I'm talking to you both? Not that I mind. We're bored. We need something to occupy our time while her sister's busy being a human. <laughs> oh, well, I'm in the middle of planning something for my sister. So maybe another night. Can we help? Maybe. I need a slavery spell. A strong one. Know where I can find one? It is. I can perform it. Her name is Akumano Torino Inzuri. My sister. Um, that is some creepy shit. I put a spell on you. Because you're mine Better stop the things you do I tell you I ain't lying I ain't lying You know I can't stand it You're running around You know better daddy I can't stand it Cause you put me down Oh, put a spell on you because you're mine. Will the 
this be our last goodbye? Or will he ever tell me why? Will this be our last goodbye? Or will we meet again? I snuck into his room that night With a candle burning bright Nightmares kept him up all night But now he sleeps forever He wanted her to meet us halfway From Delaware coming to the bay When she didn't come to meet us that day He locked himself sulking in his room Everyone knows you reap what you sow Perhaps I went a little overboard But if they never find his body Then no one ever has to know